Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. All right, last episode, we uh, did a lot of talking to people uh, back here in Skjern, uh, and I was going to go look for uh, Ify, uh, whatever her name, however her name is supposed to be pronounced, and here she is. Let's go uh, talk to her. Uh, I apparently just completely missed her. I think that... Uh, I may go buy some more wood before we're done. Uh, I imagine that it's going to be cheaper around here. This place is so flat. Have you ever noticed? It's like the sky is ten times higher than it is back home. Uh, where did you learn to fight? Grain taught me. She's a dangerous lady, that Grain. Yep. My father released me into her care on my twelfth birthday. She came to Kate and dined at our hearth when I was ten or so. Apparently, I was so impressed I swore fealty to her then and there. But I was way too young, of course. Then for the next two years, I wouldn't stop pestering my dad about when Grain would was coming back and such. When she did return, I left with her. Well, tell me about your home. It's c cold? What do you want me to say? Uh, I don't know, like, who, who the people are there and everything? Uh, I, don't I don't know, it's nice, you know? It's very stark land, very big cliffs, and even bigger waves. We're all very proud of how we managed to live there, despite it being so harsh. Ah, you sound like a good Norwegian. But I like it, to be honest. I like it a lot more now that I'm not there most of the time. I just go back when I can to visit my parents and play with the dog. You have a dog? My parents have a dog. One big slothering mutt by the name of Kushi. He's lovely. Pretty sure that's pronounced she. Could be wrong. I'd like to know what you think about the rest of my herd. Um, alright. Who do you mean? Any thoughts on Nafia? She's got a lot to prove, right? Seems like it, anyway. She's tough as nails, but she doesn't seem to know it. How do you feel about Kettle? She smirks. Kettle has a very big mouth. He should watch it a bit better. Any thoughts on Aslaver? None that I should share in polite company. He's got quite the stick up his arse. But you know, I admire that he was big enough to follow you after you beat him. That takes character. Yeah, let's just hope he doesn't, uh, doesn't cause him to betray us at some point. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping him, like, right around zero, so I, I suppose there's that. How about Gunner? Hi, um, you couldn't get a rabid bear to sweel swear fealty, so you went for the second best thing? Uh, yep. Sounds about right. The man's a flippin' monster. I mean that in the best way. Any opinions on Idis? We should take my I we should take Idis to meet my mother once. They'd get along swimmingly. If those two ever traded recipes, we'd be eating like kings. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, what do you think about uh, Roskva? She creeps me out. I saw her grinding a bug up for one of those poultices the other day. Sometimes she looks at me and I. Th uh, if he shivers, sometimes she looks at me and I think. She can hear my thoughts? Is that a thing? You and Morkin have a lot in ca common? She raises a single eyebrow. Because we believe in the same god? No, I haven't got... Haven't really got anything in common with him. He's all about his books, and I can't read, so... I don't know, he seems like a nice guy. Just a bit repressed, maybe. Uh, maybe you could get him to teach you to read. I'm totally assuming that uh, uh, Elmandretta can read here. See you back on the ship. I mean, she's a Thane, after all. Uh, pretty sure I talked to Aslafer already, so into uh, our uh, homestead we go. We should probably move that wall up a little bit. Quiet day. Ah, oh, I miss. I, I didn't. I didn't read exactly what he said before. You gonna, you gonna say it again? Come on, Grimkel. No? Come on, say it again. Quite like guard duty, truth be told. Come on, say something else. And I forgot to start my timer, didn't I? Come on. Come on, buddy. Of course, now I'm looking at my phone rather than, uh, you know, at, at him. Totally going to miss this now. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, never mind. In we go. I got my uh, <laughs> I got my timer started. That's the important thing. 
All right, so we got uh, mother. We uh, actually cannot talk to uh, our brother. Not entirely sure why. Why not? Oh well. Mother, I'm home. Totally didn't just talk to everyone else. It's good to have you back home. The gods must have blessed mid must have blessed Midgard, Sormer. It's as though all of Skjern calms down a little as soon as your sail crests the horizon. Give 10,000 valuables. We've brought treasure home for the clan. Wow. Ooh. How have things been going in our absence? It looks like Erlinger's daughter is going to marry Hafenkel Trostensen. Do you remember Hafenkel? Trostens' family comes here often to sell the produce from their farm. It'll be good for those girls to get a new man on the farm. It's not safe for them to live alone out there. That sounds good. How do we fare in terms of wealth? Your mother smiles sadly. Things are starting to look up, but we still have a long way to go. We're no longer the poorest clan in Jutland, at least. If Sigurdur Ring were to pass judgment tomorrow, Skullcleaver would simply have to point, the point to the poverty of our outlying farms, and I'm afraid the king would quickly rule in his favor. I'll talk to you later. All right, so I could I could spare that. I think let's do it. Let's see what this does. Okay, clan prosperity increased. Well done. I will invest this in our trade. Used wisely, a hundred or tug of silver may soon turn into a thousand. All right, I'll take talk to you mo later, mother. All right, I think that boosted us up by two. So that's not too bad. Uh, the downside is that. Other things are going to be expensive. Um, but we got the Palisades being built, so that's going to bump us up to 33. And then we can go do uh, some more uh, prosperity stuff. Oh, I believe that this bar... He I, I think this is an actual bar. I never really noticed it. Uh, progress bar for the homestead. Um, well, for the Palisades in this, ca in this case. All right, well, I'm going to want to go get some more wood. Um, the farms might be a, a good thing to improve. Although I kind of want to do the banners and the roads, just because they're one-off things and the pier. And I feel like we should get those uh, upgraded. They're, they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty important. Alright, so that's about everyone that we can talk to. Uh, I think when we uh, leave, we'll go up to Orknyar. Not sure exactly what that's going to do for us, but uh, we haven't been there yet. And that may be a good idea. I don't know what you guys are doing standing around there. I believe I have talked to everyone. So... All right, let's take a quick look at our quests. Um, we still have this. Uh, I still do want to do that pretty soon. The Hellsot Curse. I'd like to... Oh, right, ask Holda about a cure. All right, that's... Ooh, boy, I'm glad I looked at that. Wouldn't have wanted to leave. And I need to talk about uh, getting some more wood. All right, let's head down to uh, Holda. Uh, only 12,000. So sad. All my money's... All my money's gone. It's totally all my money's. Mephia's family needs your help. The Hellsot is back. Oh no, how awful. I was so sure we were finally rid of that old curse. I've tried just about everything I know and everything known by anyone else whose opinion I value. I'm so sorry, my girl. We're out of options. must be something we haven't tried, or we travel far and often. Perhaps the cure we seek exists across the sea? I suspect so. I strongly, strongly suspect so. Let's, uh, let's do that. Hmm, I don't know. I suppose, now that you mention it, this whole mess began when Holman, bless his spirit, returned with your father from an expedition to the far north. It's possible the people of the north know how to treat this hellsot. My travels will not take me to the Northlands, but Pictavia is quite northern, and in many ways they are like us. I might ask in Perth. Hold his eyes glaze over a, a little bit. Mm, yes, very good, dear. 
just stands there for a bit, smiling obsequiously and waiting for you to go on. She's clearly lost track of the conversation. Thank you, Hulda. I'll see you again. You're always welcome here. Alright. So, uh, ask about the Hellsot in Perth. Excellent. Alright, so that gives us another reason to go back there. Uh, and I am going to need to go back to York in a bit, because I am going to want to get uh, docking permission, uh, since I didn't realize that increased clan prosperity. Um, but the Lord of Seals, I kind of want to wanna go there. Uh, I mean, I'm not planning on building an army, but it seems like if I can conquer them, that might be a good thing, and it's not like I'm conquering uh, foreigners, right? Alright, so let's talk about uh, some wood, since you should have a good price. I wonder if we'd gotten his, uh, or, or her husband, he would have different stuff. Let's see what you've got. Um, Alright, I can't trade for herbs, but I can trade for medicine. No, nah, you don't do wood. Alright. That's unfortunate. Alright, what if I... Do I need that many? I don't think I need this many... This, this much medicine. Let's sell off 40. For 800 valuables. Um, that's 10. High demand for hides. 100... Okay, uh... See, if we took it all, that's 60 hides. Bam. I'll do that. Which is very low demand for uh, hides now, but... Uh, um, very high demand for valuables, so I could probably... Uh, um, get other things for uh, pretty cheap. 10 valuables for... Five valuables for, uh, uh, meat. Uh, I think we're pretty good on rations, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think we're okay on salvage. Alright, I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Um, I wish you could rest here, or I wish that coming back to, uh, Skarn would automatically just, you know, cause you to rest, sort of. Uh, so to speak, because it's kind of silly that I'm running around with, uh, um... Where am I now? There I am. You know, sleep-deprived and hungry and everything like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. All right. Well, let's go to Orkniar, since we haven't been there before. Or I suppose I could go back to, uh... Scarborough. I can always do, uh... Orkniar a little later. Since we do have a few things to do here in, um... York. Hmm... With as much of the map uh, as there is, it's kind of a shame that you can't go to other too many other places. I'm gonna go to Manal. Alright, so that's two days. Two days, 15 hours. Two days, 22 hours. Alright, well, let's go to, uh... Let's go to Scarborough. During the day, the wind picks up and the waves turn larger. Your ship is overflowing with goods and riches, and having packed Midgard Stormer high with all your wares, some of it starts shuffling about as the storm grows in strength. Oh, poop. I'm worried about the cargo. The ship was not built to handle this kind of load. Spend 30 rope. I am pretty sure we have a crap ton of rope, so let's do it. Before the storm gets too bad, you manage to get everything tied down securely, and you get through the rough sea without anything falling overboard. Excellent. Um, we 
Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Holy cow, look at all that hardened leather and armor webbing and everything like that. I'm going to be making a lot of stuff when it uh, comes time. Um... Ooh, that was actually about half my rope. Hmm, that is not so good. I'm not sure that you can buy any of that stuff. Alright, well. Let's take my usual people. See, was there anything that I needed to do in Scarborough itself? I don't think so. Okay, it's nighttime. Now, first of all, I thought I recalled something about some of the containers respawning or something like that. But I could have misunderstood a comment or... Uh, something like the updates. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it does. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I, I didn't really think it did, but uh, better to be safe than sorry and double check it. Alright, for now, let's just uh, go ahead and head to York. We'll go ahead and buy our uh, port access there. Increase our clan prosperity. Alright, first of all, any of these occupied? No, none down there are occupied. Be sunrise. All right, I don't think I'm going to be getting in any battles, so I'm just going to. Well, there's now starving. Hmm. Endurance minus six and sense minus six. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. Feels weird that people don't eat automatically uh, when not camping. We're going to have to go camp after this. For sure. I really wish that uh, Woden's horn was like a usable One day, item. We will rule this city, and from it, we will rule Northumbria. Weren't you the one that complained about the idea of coming over here to conquer and everything like that? Because I specifically did not choose that option when I um, did this playthrough, but in the preview, I did, and he like. You know, got hey, he had a problem with that. I mean, still talk to you. You're back, Norse woman. Okay, can't do a whole lot. All right. Where is 
There you are. Actually, let's uh, run here first. What odd route are you guys taking? That was odd. Mm, weird bunch. Thank you. Alright, let me, uh... Quick save first. My mysterious strangers, come back to me. It's so good to see you again. I brought your horn from Perth. Woden's horn has fallen apart. Your party has lost the item. You are so brave. I feared that brute for so long. I thought no one was capable of getting the horn back from him. Yet here it is. Oh, my stats are so low right now. One skill point received. I'm so glad I put my faith in you. My bad news, the poet no longer had your ring. No, my fairy ring, the symbol of my love, in someone else's hands? How did this come to pass? He pawned it. She looks absolutely devastated, for all of about five seconds before her face changes to a grim frown. How dare he sell my ring, the villain! How will you punish this mid misdeed? Oh, uh... Let me guess, you want me to kill him? I already have. Laftia, the poet is dead. Ah, uh, she's not buying that at all. I'm not killing the man for pawning the ring you gave him. I'm, I, I think I might reload. Without warning, Kire breaks into tears and hides her face in her hands. I knew it. You don't love me at all. You're just like the rest of them. All right, all right. I'll kill him. She nods, eyes heavy with sorrow. I will pray for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to reload since my sense is pretty good when I'm not starving and tired. I I had a feeling that uh, there might be something like that. The main thing is that I was thinking, you know, going along the lines of, uh, you know, I'm not going to be getting in, into any combat, so it'll be okay. But then there might be dialogue choices. Poop. <laughs> well, shucks. All right, well, we can at least get uh, access to uh, the port. Yeah, let's go do that, and then I'll run out of town and rest, and we'll come back in. Where is, where is the port? Port House, Market Street... All right, just got to follow the rivers, right? These uh, these are much, much, much too narrow for uh, for my boat to travel on, though. Nope. All right, where is it? Where is it? There we go. That's a little bit broader. No, that's not it. That can't be it. It's over here, right? No? No? Uh... Ah! Here it is! I don't know where I'm going to get more rope, honestly. A beast! A beast! Oh, shoot. He grabs at your clothes, animal panic right across his face. 
Please, you have to help me! Slow down, explain. His fingers tighten and he clutches a, at you as though he, the safety of his life depends upon it. It'll come for me next! A great black dog, the fires of hell in its eyes, all who look upon it will die! See there, across the bridge, it feasts in the alleyway on the victim before me! He gathers himself, eyes still watering with terror. It will not catch me, no, it will not catch me! New quest, the bar guest cometh. Oh. I, I thought it was going to be a hellhound. Well, let's go, uh, let's go talk to you first. Alright, let's actually take a look at this, uh... No, no, no. That doesn't pause it. The port Grafa eyes you nervously. Hello again, are you b back about that ship? Uh, pay 2,000 valuables. I'll pay the standard fee, 100 pence for 6 months access. His voice is dry and raspy. I, uh, yes, of course. That's reasonable. The standard fee. He's lost 2,000 valuables. The monk shuffles the scrolls until he finds the one he's seeking. Then he reaches for a feather on the nearest nearby table, dips it in ink, and makes a few new marks on a list. The warship Midgard Stormer will be permitted to dock at the city pier at any time for a period of six months from today. Port access unlocked. Uh, oh, there we go. Clan prosperity increased. Uh, up by three, I think. That's not bad. Alright, so, uh, the bar guest cometh. Unravel the mystery surrounding the black dog of Yorfawick. Investigate the alleyway in the poor district. Alright, well, that sounds like that might require some, uh, combat. So let's go... camp. And we'll try to lie to Kyrie again, and maybe ha maybe do the uh, um, uh, low secure. I don't like low security. That's a good one. It's a little bit far, but what are you gonna do? Okay, four herdmen still have available shifts. Uh, I don't think I care about those weapons. Assign meat to all. Don't have enough meat for everyone. That's fine. You're converting more. Uh, Alright, let's see. We've got maxed out... Uh, We actually, actually have maxed out everything. Go ahead and hunt. Well, I have no rank, but I have nothing else to do, so I'll scout. Elmandretta is assigned tasks that yield no result. That's fine. It's just something for her to do. Uh, Morkant. Um, go ahead and tinker things that require no, uh, no rope, please. Let's do a pit trap. Not that I've used any of these at all. I'm a little bit low on extracts. Vigor tonics don't require too many of them. Let's do that. And go ahead and scout. All right. It's just before midnight. Kettle has been quiet since he returned from the hunt. He sits down next to you in front of the campfire and stirs the embers with the tip of an arrow. He chuckles wistfully and casts a glance your way. Then he produces a small cork jug. Need a drink? Uh, what is it? 
Just some local ale. Grabbed it a while back for a few Ortug. Uh, sure. The ale is quite bitter and has been allowed to ferment a lot longer than was wise. It warms nicely on its way down, but it leaves a taste in your mouth not unlike vomit. <laughs> That's it. This is how I die. Kettle laughs cheekily. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? I regret nothing. I regret nothing! Here, let me have some more. Turn the chair. You can have all that you, all that you want, Kettle. Kettle takes another deep drink from the flasks and screws up his face. Ugh, that is the worst. I'm really re gonna regret finishing this. I guess I'd better help you. Oh, the sacrifices we make for our friends. Go on then, have another. You stay up with Kettle for a long time, drinking and laughing and talking about old times. Kettle's spirits are steadily rising, but a distinct wistfulness returns to his voice. You know, you're my best friend. You're the only one who'll laugh at all my stupid jokes. I only ever get a groan out of Nafia. I was wondered if there might be a seed there for, um, something more, you know? But you and Nafia have some, are some pretty wild girls, and I was always afraid of ruining the whole thing. Ah, Romance options may lead to long-term commitment. I know what you mean. I've had thoughts along those lines myself. Sure, why not? What? Really? Uh, all right, hang on. What is in this ale? Lean in and kiss him. The look on Kettle's face is absolutely priceless. Surprise, astonishment, and delight, all wrapped, in, wrapped up into one. Your lips part as he draws back and strokes your cheek as though you're made of glass. Then he erupts in, into delighted laughter. What's so funny? Uh, I just... <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I spent so long pushing these feelings from my mind, scaring myself with thoughts of your rejection or... Wow, you're so beautiful. I had a feeling that this was, a, this was uh, uh, an option in the game even before, before I saw the uh, um, uh, achievements. You know, the fact that you have Kettle and Nafia and their required characters for so much of the game... Uh, it was clearly setting it up so that you'd have your choice of, uh, um, lover. Kettle looks at you like you're the single most incredible thing he's ever seen in his entire life. Then he pulls you in for another deep, wet kiss. Ah, slobber! When you finally part again, breathless and elated, he gestures towards your tent inquisitively. Go to your tent with Kettle. Your first night together is filled with fumbling, giggling, awkwardness, and cheeky smiles. Every time something goes wrong, Kettle smooths it over with an effortless witticism. The world contracts around your tent and it, until it seems that there is nothing on the other side of the canvas. In the morning, Kettle wakes up early and tries to sneak out of your tent. At first, it seems nobody saw him, but the wry smiles and frowns of disapproval around the campfire during breakfast tell a different story. Well... All right, got a pit trap, a vigor tonic. Uh, lost two rations. Heard it has consumed two rations. Gained 21 meat. Uh, lost nine herbs. Gained nine medicine. All of your herdmen have eaten. Twelve of your herdmen have become well rested. Your scouts have found something of interest nearby. Hopefully not farther away. Of course. Uh, let's see. Any way to tell what time it is? Not really. Alright, well, let's go get that. You've encountered an unknown group of enemies. Um, let's evade it. Evasion failed. You have failed to evade your enemies. Two arms! Well, looks like uh, that's where we're going to end the episode. When we come back, we will fight this random encounter. See you then, everyone.